You couldn't have missed it. You've probably seen more VVIPs and celebrities wielding a broom in the last month than you ever have in your life, thanks to Prime Minister Modi's Swachh Bharat campaign. But even his own flock hasn't been able to resist some sweeping symbolism. But this time, the fixed match has been caught on camera and involves a prominent BJP leader, the BJP Delhi chief in Delhi at this point of time. Here's Delhi BJP chief Satish Upadhyay flanked by hangers-on as he attempts to sweep up a pile of leaves in the capital. That's on the right-hand side of your screen. Seen with him, former Aam Aadmi Party leader Shazia Ilmi. Now, both of them try to create a little bit of space so the photo opportunity can be milked for all it's worth. They're signaling to people flanking them to provide a little bit of give, a little bit of space so that the cameras can capture them as properly as possible but moments before these two netas arrived to sweep up the leaves the leaves had already been cleaned up the same worker had dumped them from a garbage trolley just moments before that he then spreads the garbage around creating an artificial mess for the netas to come and swipe their brooms at for just a few minutes for that perfect beautiful little photo opportunity it looks like the netas come and clean up the mess but no, the mess was created just so they could come and clean it up in a matter of a few minutes. All of it, of course, perfectly on camera. Those, that's the number on your screen. We want to know what you think about the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan being reduced to a farce. The latest offender being the Delhi BJP chief, Satish Upadhyay himself. We wonder what Prime Minister Modi thinks about this. Our first caller is already on the line, Anurag from Delhi. Anurag, go ahead. Yeah, yeah hi, Shiv. Uh, thanks. Uh, Shiv, uh, this is most appalling behavior of a state president of BJP and that also right under the nose of the national president and the prime minister of the country who has taken this issue as a Swachh Bharat campaign to his heart. He has stuck on the heart, hearts of so many million of Indians, including people like me who are very careless earlier and he has turned it into a real farce, a joke for the and you know, it's, it's hitting on the, uh, the sentiments of so many million Indians all across the country. Okay, you're saying that it's not eat. just an insult to Prime Minister Modi, but also an insult to Indians that the Netas would stoop to this level. We have our next caller. Thanks, sir. Thanks very much, Anurag, for giving us your views. Ashok Kamal, we're getting lots of calls. Ashok Kamal from Mumbai is on the line with us. He's our next uh, caller. Ashok, what do you think about this? Uh, sir, uh, I am really very upset seeing these visuals and the spectacle of it is really very disgusting. In fact, I think these people don't know how much damage they have done to the credibility of the people who are feeling proud to associate with this moment. This was a very noble cause started by our worthy president. I don't know whether they are making it a Swash Bharat or a Swash Bharat. I mean by bringing the mm. dirt and they are spreading in the street. They must be accountable for this. We people, we people spent our time, we people were associated with this. And I was thinking that there was a I mean, silver lining at the end of the tunnel. But by the way, these uh, political class who are themselves have a lot of dirt in mind and heart, they are doing all these things. You raise a I very important point, Ashok. You say that the... by their actions, they're not just fooling people, they're damaging the credibility. A very specific allegation here made by our viewer Ashok from Mumbai says they're damaging the credibility of people who genuinely associate themselves with a movement that nobody can question the nobility of. The practicality perhaps, but the nobility of nobody can actually question. Our next caller, Basavaraj, is calling in from Bangalore this evening. Basavaraj, what did you think when you saw these pictures? Hello. Go ahead, Basavaraj. Uh, sir, uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Go ahead, Basavaraj. Okay, we've lost that line now. Brian is our next caller. Oh, we're getting a whole lot of calls. This is an emotive story. Brian from Mumbai is on the phone line. Brian, go ahead. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a bit of a farce, yeah. I mean, you know, someone gathering the things so that the ministers can come. At the same time, it's, it's a lot of... It's, it's, <laughs> it's made me laugh, actually, because Delhi has so many other problems, like, you know, women are not safe in Delhi. Many change, I mean, good point. You know, yeah, Delhi is not a, is, is one of India's most dangerous cities for uh, for more than one reason. Most of us know well. So this kind of thing is a photo opportunity, really. They could have done something better. I think people want to see concrete things.
it's 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 competitive farcical uh, you know it's 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 a farcical competition that's the point that brian's making our viewer from mumbai yeah. says delhi has so many other problems but cleanliness happens to be a national problem and even if we're talking just about cleanliness this is something that has hurt a lot of people like one of our callers just said this damages the credibility not just of the swachh bharat campaign itself but also of people who genuinely believe that by announcing a campaign of this kind on the national level prime minister modi may actually be on to something why not believe that something like this is even possible while we wait for our next caller and we're getting a lot of calls okay prasad we already have a caller prasad from bangalore is on the line prasad what do you think see now uh, the, our prime minister is imbibing an idea of cleanliness in the minds of uh, indians see we indians basically are not, are not tuned to such kind of cleaning idea hmm. but they are giving only an idea see it's all symbolic see somebody from bombay said that they are moving the trash only from center of the road to the side yeah you can't expect our ministers and uh, leaders to actually clean the road you know no okay so you you're saying it's not such a big deal we have mixed views here on headlines today you're saying that it, it, the symbolism is acceptable you can't expect a minister to go and clean up an actual road that this is all just uh, 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 supposed to be sending out a message granted i take your point that's also one view uh, ravi from uh, delhi is our next caller ravi go ahead yeah as our uh, prime minister uh, went to us and shown the uh that we have a very we would be having by 2010 2019 a clean india mm. and uh, this is uh, what we are saying now ki the first the things are being littered and then it is being sweep by the bjp chief and then aam aadmi party saji aadmi who left few months back yeah so yeah it is just a farce and they are just uh, i was to the common man they, they are just uh, fooling the common man of New Delhi. Okay, so you're saying it's eyewash. They're fooling the common man. Zola from uh, uh, fr from uh, from uh, from, uh, from Chennai is on the phone line again with us. Uh, Zola, go ahead. What do you think? Yeah, uh, Mr. Shivaru, this is Zola here. Yes. Uh, Shivaru, uh, the thing is, like you know, I just uh, these kind of people every time we used to uh, call these people on come to online. And I request you to call these guys to see that you know you have really made this wonderful uh, sting operation or whatever, like you know you expose them. And uh, these guys, you should you know tarnish them. These are the people who are tarnishing the image of uh, Narendra Modi, a uh, prime minister who is you know come out with wonderful schemes. Hmm. Because like you know, I can just share a small information. Where when Mr. Modi was the CM in Gujarat, the company which is from Europe, you know, a multinational company which has met him, uh, Narendra Modi, and to the people. You know, it is an European, a German-based company. I don't want to zero in on the name, but you can zero in. It is not global percent. Where he has just given in 24 hours time a 25-acre piece of land, and it also consented them that you know that not the only company, the only one, a Chaprasi Gandhi company. You can you know call me. I will take your action. A person of great stature now in India has got. And these kind of jobs, like you know, people who are who are who are unfortunately named, we should expose them. The, the, the message, the, the the message has to be sent out. The, the importance of all of this is the message. Uh, th th thanks for calling in. We've got Arjun from Calicut, who's our next caller. Arjun, what's on your mind? What do you think? Hi, sir. Hi, Arjun. Go uh, ahead. Tell us what you think. Uh, all right. Uh, this incident uh, clearly reminds me of what happened with uh, Piyush Goyal, a coal minister. Mm. Well, he tried to woo uh, Mr. Modi by telling him that he'll be promoting Mr. Modi's pet project on a lecture tour in the United States. Mr. Modi clearly responded by saying that, "Well, you can go for the tour, but find me a new coal minister." So the point is, what the issue about yeah, is clearly trying to woo Mr. Modi, but is clearly piling more dirt for Modi to clean. I hope a clean uh, a search is a precursor before one dons a broom. a broom and yes. a, a beaming smile actually i think that's an Thank important li uh, important point and a fine line that you make the creating even more of a mess really for uh, prime minister modi to clean up uh, uh, i'm just going to take a moment to get a comment in from our executive editor javed ansari who's also with me here on this story javed you know important points being made uh, this is not the first time we're seeing you know netas leaders corporate tycoons come out just you know move the broom around a little bit and pretend like they're doing something like they're doing anything they're not fooling anybody but when people see the back story it is a credibility issue it certainly is and this will just lend credence to what most people believe that um, our, our politicians usually do things for the camera usually do things 
just to show people their heart is not in it. Mr. Satish Upadhyay has done a great disservice to the Prime Minister. It mocks at his campaign. And perhaps when he reflects coolly, he'll realize he'll regret what he's done. And the organizers, Mr. Siraj Qureshi, and all the others will regret what they've done. Because this is a national issue. This, the kind of dirt and filth stays us in the face. And this is something to be ashamed of. And therefore, uh, the Prime Minister uh, putting it, taking the, this upon himself to lead this campaign and then people undermining it by doing this kind of thing is a huge disservice to this campaign. It's a disservice and we've all already got confirmation from our uh, reporter on the BJP beat that the uh, party is pretty embarrassed. It's taken cognizance of this. Now whether any uh, reprimand happens uh, you know, remains to be seen. It's unlikely. It's election season. You don't want to see anything like that out in the public. But the simple fact of the matter is it has done a disservice. Mac is our next caller. He's calling in from Goa this evening. Mac, what's on your mind? Yes, Captain Mac here. Yes. Mac, go ahead. Tell us what you think. Hello. Am I on the... Uh, yeah. All right. Mac, just stay with us for a moment. Satish Upadhyay has reacted. Let's listen in. I have said that I have said in the media that Swachh Bharat Abhiyan Sri Rajiddin Qureshi Sahib Islamic Center was kept in the Islamic Center. And I was there for a little while. There were 2.5 people there. And I don't support any of these things. I have done a lot of things for the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. And I have done a lot of things for the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. I have also talked about Qureshi Sahib. उनकी भी जानकारी में नहीं था एंड आई कंप्लीटली कंडेम दिस और इस तरह की चीजों को जो प्रधानमंत्री जी का अभियान है हम सबको मिलकर के ईमानदारी से अभियान को चलाना चाहिए उन्होंने काफी लोगों को वहां इकट्ठा किया था लेकिन शायद उनकी जो कल्पना थी वो ठीक नहीं थी और जो आप कह रहे हैं उस बात से मैं सहमत हूँ इसको हमको आगे से जो भी करे और दिल्ली की जनता को भी मैं कहना चाहता हूँ जो लोग इस स्वच्छ भारत अभियान में लगे हैं कम से कम इसको फोटो अपॉर्चुनिटी के लिए और केवल दिखावे के लिए ना करें क्योंकि समाज में हर तरह की मानसिकता के लोग हैं जिन्होंने भी ये किया है वो ठीक नहीं है और हम सबको इसको इशू बनाने की आवश्यकता नहीं है क्योंकि ये किन्हीं छोटी छोटी चीजों पर समाज में और बहुत सारी घटनाएं होती है अगर उनको हम इशू बनाए बार बार ये ह्यूमन एरर है किसी ने गलती की है तो उसको इस बात को समझना चाहिए और सेल्फ रिलाईजेशन होना चाहिए आई थिंक इससे ज्यादा इसमें और कुछ कहने के लिए भाजपा कार्यकर्ता नहीं थे इस बात कैसे पता चलेगा भाजपा के कार्यकर्ता नहीं थे जिन्होंने वहाँ पे गंदगी फैलाई थी अरे भाई भाजपा के कार्यकर्ता से कोई लेना देना नहीं है क्या सवाल कर रहे हो आप भाजपा के कार्यकर्ता का क्या लेना देना है इस्लामिक सेंटर में कार्यक्रम था आप आप समझिए कि इस्लामिक सेंटर में दो ढाई सौ लोग थे वहां और वहां पर भाजपा के कार्यकर्ताओं ने प्रोग्राम नहीं रखा ये इस्लामिक सेंटर का कार्यक्रम था ज्यादा डिटेल आपको चाहिए तो आप वहां इस्लामिक सेंटर के जो प्रमुख है उनसे जाकर के आप बात कर सकते हैं लेकिन जो मैंने कहा इट वॉज ए एरर ये नहीं होना चाहिए स्वच्छता अभियान ईमानदारी से होना चाहिए हमको कोई भी चीज प्रायोजित नहीं करनी चाहिए ये गलती है उनकी तरफ से मैं भी थोड़ी देर के लिए वहां पर गया था मैं तो जाकर के किसी को पूछा नहीं कि कहां पर क्या है यह आयोजकों की रिस्पांसिबिलिटी है उनको देखना चाहिए और देश भर में दिल्ली भर में मेरी सबसे अपील है कि हम स्वच्छता अभियान को ईमानदारी से करें और जब इतने लोग इकट्ठा होते हैं तो उनको इस बात को ध्यान रखना चाहिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू वेरी मच मैंने कहा ना मुझे एक्सप्लेनेशन की जरूरत नहीं है आई एम टू आस्क एक्सप्लेनेशन फ्रॉम देम आई एम नो बडी मैं एक एज पार्टिसिपेंट आई वेंट दे और मैं आपसे कह रहा हूँ कि जिसने भी किया है वो गलत है हमको सेल्फ रिलाइजेशन होना चाहिए स्वच्छता एक ऐसी चीज है जो सेल्फ रिलाइजेशन की चीज है इसके लिए कोई आप किसी के ऊपर कोई 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 एक्सप्लेनेशन कोई पनिशमेंट कोई देर इज नथिंग आई मीन देर इज नो नीड ऑफ मेकिंग ए बिग इशू अबाउट इट मैं आपकी बात से सहमत हूं आप जो कह रहे हैं और आपको बधाई देना चाहता हूं जिन लोगों ने भी फोटो डाली है कि आगे से सब लोगों को सबक मिले कि हमको इस तरह के काम नहीं करने चाहिए दैट्स इट लगता है सर कोई गलत मैसेज जाएगा समाज में मुझे समझ नहीं आया आप फिर क्या पूछ रहे हो गलत मैसेज जाएगा तो इतनी सारी, तो तो सारी बात करने के बाद आप फिर उस सवाल को कह रहे हो कि गलत मैसेज जाएगा मैं कह रहा हूँ कि आई डोंट एग्री विद दिस हेक्टिक प्रेपरेशन आर अंडर वे इन द जयपुर विलेज ऑफ वाराणसी इज गेट्स रेडी फॉर द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स विजिट टूमोरो नरेंद्र मोदी इज सेट टू अडोप्ट दिस विलेज from his constituency modi will be adopting jaipur under the mp model village scheme launched by the prime minister himself he is scheduled to visit jaipur on the 7th of november the entire district administration is working overnight to give a facelift to the area ahead of the prime minister's arrival a large number of municipal employees were deployed in the village to clean up its streets the bjp workers have been decorating the village as well
Government banks started a campaign to open new accounts for residents there. Three helipads have been prepared in the village for the Prime Minister's arrival. Modi is also expected to inaugurate a trauma centre at the Banaras Hindu University during his visit tomorrow. BJP leaders claim that Modi will announce at least three mega projects for his Lok Sabha constituency. Preparations are on in full swing and tight security is in place in the ancient temple town. Twelve superintendent of police rank police officials, 18 additional SPs, 20 deputy SPs, besides over 1,000 personnel of the provincial armed constabulary have been deployed. UP Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav is expected to be there to welcome the Prime Minister. His visit is likely to last a little over 24 hours. And I'm going to hand you over now to my colleague Preeti Chaudhary, who's in the village now as it prepares for its adoption and the arrival of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Over to you, Preeti. Appreciate it, Shiv. Thank you. Uh, you know, Shiv, we were in the village early today morning. Right now, we are at uh, the ghats uh, in Varanasi. And I just asked my camera person, Waka, to actually show you the expanse of the celebrations which are on right now. I'll bet these celebrations are not on in anticipation of uh, their elected member of parliament from here, Narendra Modi. But um, today is Dev Deepavali. And uh, for whoever has ever come to Banaras would, Varanasi would know that this is the biggest festival that this city celebrates. Now, what we are expecting, Shiv, is that many of these ghats right behind me, and I'll just ask these people to move a little, and I'll ask Makar to actually show you, are all lit up. They're going to be lit up through the course of the night. And, you know, I was talking to some of the organizers. Now, in anticipation of the Prime Minister coming tomorrow, all these ghats are going to be lit up exactly the same. So, celebratory atmosphere here, Shiv. And why not? Because it's for the first time that uh, the Prime Minister now, but before that, he was their Member of Parliament. And they did make Narendra Modi win from a mandate of 3 point. 7 lakh votes. So now that's quite sizable. Now for our viewers, I'm just going to take our viewers through the itinerary of Narendra Modi. He's here for exactly 24 hours. It's his first visit after he takes oath. He lands here at about 9.35 and you know, that's the operative line because the first function that he attends is for minority outreach. He's going to the weaver's uh, co colony, the weaver's community yes. here. Shiv up. You know, the weavers community, uh, that particular area is uh, minority dominated. That is where uh, not many votes came down to Narendra Modi. And that is what he's chosen. And, uh, you know, that is a place that he's chosen to establish a trade center. So there's a lot to read in there. Of course, after that, he's going to go to Jayapur. Now, of course, Jayapur has made a fair bit of news. That's the village that Narendra Modi, under uh, the MP village adoption program, that's the village that he'd be adopting till now. It's a village that has been nurtured by the RSS. Over the course of the day, lots of meetings. Uh, he's going to go across uh, to ghats like this and, you know, carry forth the Swachh uh, Bharat Abhiyan. But interestingly, it will uh, be a day which will be marked with multiple meetings with intellectuals. So that's all what we're expecting tomorrow. It's going to be a long day for him. We'll carry on till about uh, 10 at night. Then the next day, which is the 8th, uh, he's going to, you know, two short meetings right. in the morning. He's going to inaugurate a hospital. He's going to take forth the Swaj Bharat Abhiyan. But, uh, uh, you know, before I toss back to the studio, I just want to give you numbers, Shiv. You know, we are looking at about 83,000 security personnel right here. Varanasi, as we speak, is a fortress uh, for the Prime Minister who comes in tomorrow. Just today, you know, I've seen at least eight security drills, drills being carried out uh, by the SPG. But we'll leave you with these visuals. It's back to the studio. Thanks very much, Preeti. Preeti and her uh, filming crew is going to be all across in Varanasi and in Jayapur all of tomorrow to get you live images. And so it's beautiful images that we, uh, we've gotten used to right through election season uh, uh, will be on full display tomorrow as well. 80,000 security personnel, lots of announcements that will be made there at the Weaver's Colony and then at the Ghat and then at Jayapur. Just over 24 hours is the time that Prime Minister Modi will be spending in Varanasi, his Lok Sabha constituency that he will be visiting for the first time since he won the seat in the national.